Yo, what's going on guys? It is Deltray. We are back with some more Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3. Now last time we did Various Hill, one of the harder maps in this game, honestly. I kind of lucked out a little bit. Uh, I, I definitely did. And I was kind of curious as to why I remember it being so much harder. And then it hit me. So there was a knight there that I, and I, I barely killed his ass, right? But then it hit me. That dude actually has HP restores. So normally what happens is he survives because a lot of the enemies are set to, uh, have certain ranges for like their brave and faith values, okay? And <laughs> maybe I'm getting a little bit too technical, but just trust me on this. Some of the enemies will always have really low faith, okay? And I think that had I not killed that guy, that whole map would have been way harder. Uh, because again, if you drop somebody into critical and they have HP restored, they just pop right back. And also those two summoners, including the one that got herself killed and ended the map early, goddamn her, uh, they both have short charge, so their spells are much faster than yours. Uh, those are two things definitely worth pointing out about that one, I think. So do be careful when you play that map, for sure. Uh, today, I actually want to try and get two of them in here, if we can. One of them is going to depend a lot on Mastadio, actually, which is why I'm in this uh, setup screen anyways. So, in 1.3, by default, Mastadio can unlock Seal Evil. I'm pretty sure that he will just always have enough JP to do this. If not, let him do, like, one or two things. And he should get to this amount. And you definitely want to pick this up because if you do, he will be very, very helpful on the next map. Now, Seal Evil is a uh, weapon-dependent attack, so it has the range of your weapon. In this case, since Mustadio has a gun, he can do this from eight spaces away, okay? And what it does is it will petrify any undead unit, which is as good as a kill. In fact, against the undead, it's actually even better because they have a, they have a little mechanic to them that we can talk about when we get onto the map, but... It's actually preferable to petrify them as opposed to straight up knocking them out. Let me just put it that way. He also has some other stuff. You might notice that his skill set's a little bit smaller. He doesn't have uh, leg aim anymore like he did in the original game. And uh, as the name would imply, leg aim applies the don't move status. He does still have arm aim though. And I think it's actually a little bit more accurate in this version of the game. Correct me if I'm wrong. Not hugely so, but enough that you would probably notice it a little bit at any rate. And I think that his skill set is very well rounded in that sense because don't act as- Oh man, excuse me, hiccups, man. Uh, don't act is way better than don't move because don't act basically takes them out of the fight entirely. And I guess the logic behind taking away leg aim is that uh, because in 1.3 enemies have a lot more range anyways, it's not as effective to just lock them in place like that as it would be to disable them entirely. So don't act still very good and I'm glad that he kept that. And he also has this Moss Fungus Bomb replacing uh, leg aim. And it adds slow and poison in a plus-shaped radius. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Very accurate as well. And I, I still want to say that getting haste on your own guys is probably a little bit better. But Moss Fungus Bomb is MP-free and also instant. So in that sense, uh, in that sense, it's still very, very useful if you can nail a faster character with it. Like a ninja or something like that, hitting them with Moss Fungus Bomb could really be the end of them, in all honesty. Uh, that said, I'm not entirely sure how I want to set myself up. Probably lots of white magic, because there's lots of undead on the next map, as I said. But before we do any of that, we got to do Lionel Castle. Uh, and I actually do have to do the propositions for this place as well, because if you don't do them now, and you proceed on to the next city, then you're not going to be able to come back here and do them until the end of Act... Uh, until you beat Act 2, basically. So we do have to do all the propositions here right now. Who are you? What do you want? It's my G. Not your G, but my G. I'm Agrias Oaks of the, Liz the Lazalia St. Cano Knights. I came from Arbon to save the Son of God, St. Ajora. Open the gate. Saving St. Ajora is the will of the High Priest. The gate will open for he who would save the High Priest. Open the gate! Gameplay hints. Remember this for later. Yeah, so when I was a, when I was a kid and I played this for the first time, I didn't realize that, uh... This gate here can be opened, <laughs> and we there is a fight here later on. So, uh, yeah, good job, me. But I guess that's supposed to be your way of knowing that it's a possibility, so keep that in mind. I understand your situation, Agrias. Moreover, I'll send a man to the High Priest in Murag. We'll do something to expose Lark's scheme and keep the princess from danger. Will High Priest's funeral help us? Don't worry, Agrias, I'm with you. You must be strong to make the princess feel at ease. Make yourselves comfortable in this old castle until word comes from the Holy Land. Thank you for your kindness. St. Ajora is with us. There's no need to worry. Young mechanic, I heard your wish too. 
I'll send troops to Goo to destroy Bart Company. Pretty hardcore for a holy man. Thank you. But would you explain why they're after you too? I can't. That's all right. Is this it? What is that crystal? Have you ever heard of the Zodiac Brave story? You mean that fairy tale we used to hear in church? Here now, are you saying the church lied? No, I didn't mean that. And you can see just how influential the church is in this game, right? <laughs> got angry, got shaken over here. Long ago, when the land was much different, 12 brave warriors fought against the evil Lukavi who ruled the land. After a desperate battle, they sent Lukavi to Hades, and then the land was peaceful. They each had crystals with zodiac signs on them. They were called the Zodiac Braves. Ever since then, whenever humans are attacked, the Braves come to save us. You are quite learned, Princess, just as I expected. Mr. Simon taught me at the Orban Monastery. He also said St. Ajora and the Braves saved Evilis from chaos. We call the crystals Holy Stones. This very stone is the legendary secret stone, the Zodiac Stone. So does it always shine like that, or is that part of its magic? I didn't think it really existed. They say its divine power surpasses Lukavi's. I feel a strange power, but it looks just like an ordinary crystal to me. What's wrong with Stadio? You look pale. You saw the same stone underground Goog. Underground Goog. In Underground Goog. Did it say that or did I just read it wrong? I, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I just accepted this is early 90s translation by this point. God, this playthrough has really opened my eyes. <laughs> Many broken machine parts are buried there. But if the stone gets near the machines, they start to howl. Bart Company's after the stone, right? I don't know what power the stone has. But Rudvich wants to use its power to make weapons. My father told me to never give the stones to him. So they abducted him. Finally, he speaks. Don't worry, Mustadio. The church will see to his safety. While our men fight, we'll get the stone back. Yes, sir. All right, though, finally. I'll go to Goog with you. Thank you, my G. <laughs> thanks, thanks, my G. We made it this far thanks to you, my G. I wish I could have been more help. Please be careful. Yeah, you could have come on. <laughs> you could have come along for the last map, Ophelia, with your busted ass M barrier skill. But no! That's very thoughtful. Don't worry, we'll be fine. Are you sure, my G? I think we could really use her. <laughs> Alright, with that though, I do believe we gotta do these propositions, knock these out of the park, and I'm probably just gonna try to get dude to dance her, more likely than not, I wanna say. Alright, and also the uh the stores have upgraded yet again. Uh, do we want the hidden knife? I, I think I still wanna stick with bows though on Velatus, because the range is just so so nice. I guess it depends. Oh, green berets. Okay, so we want to get a few of these because these increase your speed, as it says right there. And uh, having extra speed manipulation like that is pretty pretty useful, I would say. So let's go ahead and grab, like... Honestly, let's just grab four of them. Because they're, they're really that good, honestly. Uh, can we buy more wizard robes? Because I might want one extra. Yeah, we'll buy one extra wizard robe. I did unequip Agrios. Uh, before she left. <laughs> I don't know if I brought that up or not, but I did do it. I think she might actually send her stuff back to the convoy anyways, but uh, just to be on the safe side, I would recommend just unequipping her before that part. Uh, probably want some rubber shoes as well. Oh, and we can buy defense rings. I'm going to need those eventually because they cancel sleep and death sentence. And the final boss of this act does have a uh, an AoE attack that inflicts both, which is really bad. Because <laughs> then you're asleep and you're also dying, so it's like... Mm, not the best. I don't know if I need these right now, though. And I, I don't need them on everybody. Really, it's probably going to be butts and then maybe like a few other characters, if that. But having at least some of these is going to be useful, for sure. But I'll buy two right now, and then if I decide I want more, then I'll just go back for it. Propositions give you so much money anyways that you'll never really... Like, you're never really hurting for money, if you know what I mean. You can also start to buy some throwable items, I guess, uh, if you have ninjas by this point somehow. Alright, let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Pretty much did everything I need to do. I actually have... Dude as a monk still. I might just have her do the whole chakra thing this time, honestly, just because... 
Oh, we can bring five! Finally! Oh my god, cool. Uh, so that being the case... Sick. Amazing. Okay, that's really good. That's really good. So what we want to do is something like this. I think we can have our monks over on this side. I almost, I almost want to bring Boko here though, because there's some enemies that can inflict. Stop. I do remember that much. And he would be kind of good to counter that a little bit, you know, because he got that Choco Asuna. So maybe, mm, no, let's bring Dude. Let's do it. And since uh, Dude and uh, Dude and Butts both have chakras, so I don't really have to worry about my MP at all. And since there's so many undead on this map, anyways, I can. I can use Chakra to both heal myself and deal damage at the same time, because Undead uh, do have... Uh, they, they have a property where they reverse the effects of healing, basically, so all healing magic instead inflicts damage if you're Undead. Likewise, the Death Spell, and I think Demi as well, will heal the Undead, as opposed to uh, dealing damage. Basically, any Shadow damage heals the Undead, more or less. What rotten luck, fighting monsters in a swamp. Lousy footing. On top of that, it's raining. Be careful. You said it, my man. But, the good news is that Vestadio actually kicks so much ass on this map, if he wants to. It really just depends. Like I was starting to say, he has that seal evil ability. Let's see if he can hit somebody here. That would certainly help. 48. Dead. Awesome. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the Marlboros can actually... Yeah, they're called Marlboros, by the way. Not to be confused with the cigarette. Oh, I can't say that word. Never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna get banned off YouTube. That is the joke behind their bad breath attack, though. But you can see there, he just instantly KO'd one of the enemies, basically. Uh, the only thing that can bring him back at the Marlboros. And that's way better than just simply knocking them out, because when the counter for undead units hit zeros, they have a 50% chance to revive. Basically. Oh, right. They're on Blade Grass. But I forgot about that. Oh, my God. Wait, I have Concentrate. That's bullshit. <laughs> That's bullshit. Yeah, I forgot that. So, Blade Grasp is a very annoying ability <laughs> because it reduces your accuracy for any available attack by Brave Percent. So, this guy has 69% uh, chance to avoid anything, basically. A any single physical attack. Which is really obnoxious. It's, it's probably why they don't let you do that. Uh, in the original game, you could buy it for yourself, but not here. Now, I forget. I think that's actually just straight up a ghost skill. So all of them should have that. And the really dumb thing about Blade Grasp is that it works on guns for some reason. <laughs> like, if Estadio wants to shoot that guy and not use uh, Seal Evil, I'm pretty sure that they can just avoid it, which sucks. So the best way to deal with the ghost is to use... Either magical attacks or attacks that can't miss. So here comes a Demi, I think. Yeah, the uh, skeletons do have the Demi skills, so they can, like, they can do some pretty cheeky stuff. Oh my god, why did that do 100? I'd really like Mastadio to not die, <laughs> actually, because he's pretty good here. In case you're wondering why I waited with Bellanus, though, I want to get him in on the haste as well more or less. Now, did I pick up Revive, or did I just rely on... No, I didn't pick up Revive. Okay. I was wondering if I did, or if I'm just relying on item, basically. And I guess I decided the item would be enough. Now, you don't have throw item. No, you have equip armor. That's right. I should have probably uh, exchanged that for uh, throw item. Zemi 2 is more likely than not going to destroy Mustadio. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about that. Now, something interesting about the reflect spell though is it's actually instant like no matter what you will always be able to get it off because it has no charge time so if I had reflect on my G here who by the way has the green beret which is why he's moving right now but if I had the reflect spell I could throw that to Mistadio which would actually keep him alive or he could just be a beast and dodge anyways nice 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 so what I want to do is pull everything to the left and hopefully hit him with a leviathan like that Volanus is so goddamn fast because he also has the uh, green beret, so he's actually got 12 speed right now, effectively. And what that means for me is that he's going to be able to pick off any stragglers pretty easily. Now, ghosts still have a lot of HP, so that is one saving grace about all of this. I 
I think I have to go into the swamp. Now, this swamp is poisonous. Hold on. Do I? It's kind of hard to see. Uh, if I throw it here, though. Yeah, I do need to move into the swamp if I want to hit all of them. And I do. But as you'll see by doing this, I'm about to catch this poison when my turn is over. Now, the only enemies that didn't move are those Mulbros, and I'm so far away from them that this is really my only move, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, we do catch a poison. Which is a nice attention to detail, I suppose. It is supposed to be a poisonous swamp, after all. Uh, the Mulbros actually move on top of the water. They have, like, a levitation effect, sort of, so... They don't have to worry about that. I thought they could cure Petrify. Is it just some of them, maybe? Let's get to the bottom of this. Not you. I know there was, it was... It's called, like, Lick or something. Maybe it's this guy. No? I thought. I guess Petrify doesn't qualify. That's good. But yeah, it, it, they can remove basically any status effect. And of course, they have their signature Bad Breath attack, which hits you with basically everything. <laughs> it, it's really nasty if that goes through, because obviously, there's just a plethora of nasty status right there. Like, uh, Frog in Petrify in particular. Confuse is really not great either. Sleep sucks. Basically, they just destroy you if that connects. And I think it even has AoE. I can't quite remember. Why do I have talk skill? I have no abilities for that. I was gonna, I was gonna buy Threaten, but then I forgot to, I think. Now, Volanis should be able to do some decent damage here without even moving, really. Yeah, I can't do anything to him still. Uh, the, tur the turn order actually is a little bit unfortunate here. I would have much preferred that Leviathan to go off first, but it is what it is. I'll get some damage here, maybe even get the proc as we do. Nice. So there's 70%, or not 70%, but like 70 damage-ish, which is pretty good. It's a good start, if nothing else. He does have Regenerator, so that could be a little bit annoying. Now let's see how many we get here, because this is going to be very, very important. Hopefully we don't miss the ghosts. That is worst case scenario, because again, they have that Blade Grass, and if not for uh, this Leviathan connecting, we're going to have to get a little bit creative by using stuff like Chakra. Chakra would probably do it, though. Oh my god. Triple kill. I'm really going to hate when that stops working. I really will. If I actually cured Mustadio, in theory, he would run into this guy's face and probably shoot this guy. Uh, yeah. I think I want to give Mustadio somewhere that he can run to, be healed, while also killing that skeleton. So if I throw a cure right there, that's exactly what should happen, I do believe. Because the AI is smart enough to do that. But we still have to be quick here, however, because, as I was saying, those dang uh, undead. No, he's just going to waste my potion. And then probably still move to get healed. Like, make no mistake, that was <laughs> a complete waste, more likely than not. Yep. <laughs> Turn your back to the Marlboro as well. I like it. I like it. We do still have to be quick, though, because, as I was saying, those guys will potentially come back once their timer reaches zero. So just because we've dealt uh, some pretty decent damage here does not mean we are out of the woods just yet. Very, very important that we be quick. We can even charge another spell before these guys get to move. Bubbro's not very fast. Not at all. Yeah, I'm not even close to being fast, but we'll be okay. We'll be okay. I'm not going to be able to get that spell off, of course, more likely than not. But I can at least charge it, I think. If we're going to Chakra, it has to be from here. Has to be. Yeah, you can't move if you go into depth to water again. And also, there is a little bit of a uh, an increased movement cost for water. But it's worth it to just eat the poison in this case, I do believe. And we don't have to be anywhere very quick. Not particularly. I could even throw a haste up, but... I think my best possible move is to do nothing. Honestly. And if people... Like, if that's confusing, I'm just saving the CT. I'm trying to make the turn orders line up in such a way that lets me get this attack off. But if I throw it right now, I either have to move way, way, way closer to the enemy where they could probably just destroy me before I get a chance... Or, 
or well basically no or that's the whole reason that I'm not moving in because I don't want to give them the opportunity to interrupt my spell basically and since we get 40 CT for free I think she's actually coming up next oh I guess not but she's still coming up soon at any rate in all honesty I think I just want to throw out a chakra just so that I can potentially get this job level here hopefully she was like one off did I get no JP what happened there oh cuz there I forgot that's how that works that's right that's right because I didn't get any healing from that I didn't get any JP either right I forgot about that that's one of those mechanics you don't really think about because it almost never comes into play well, honestly, here is kicking ass, though. Look at this. I don't even have to move this guy, and he's just getting so many turns because of his super high speed. And he's still hasted for the time being. I honestly want to say that a Spirit Surge on one of these guys is my move. Can I hit the guy way back here, or what? Oh, uh, Libra. That's not good, I don't think. No reason to target the almost dead one, though, because he is going to die to this next Leviathan. This guy has no faith, so that's what's going on there. Uh, these guys still have quite a while. But truthfully, it only makes sense to get the damage here, right? So let's go ahead and do that. That'll bring him lower. And then between Leviathan, as well as a... A well-placed shot from Volanis there. That should be able to take this guy out, I think. I, I know he has really bad faith, but... Look at all these turns we're about to get, honestly. Again, Marlboro's very slow. Very, very slow. <laughs> this is the spot. Yeah, one of those right there should do very nicely. And yeah, we're slowly but surely losing health, however... Uh, we can kill the very closest Mulbro. I think it's an Ochu is its name. I'm pretty sure that's what the second stages are called. I'm actually not sure which are which, to be honest, but... Bottom line, we should be able to deal with them before they do us in. That, uh, seal evil there on Mustadio and that first guy was very, very clutch, though. Very, very clutch. Now with butts... Uh, yeah, we want to be over here, I think, because he has the better chakra. Although, honestly, at this point, it barely matters. Uh, yeah, we can just... We can do this, I want to say. Yeah, we'll do that, and that should give him enough movement that if those Mubros continue to advance, we should be able to just run up on them with him. Which is probably going to need to happen. They're going to be very low after this. Uh, well, one is going to die outright. The other one should be taking about 100 or so. And I have no idea what the regular Marlboro will take. Uh, I didn't check his faith very well, I'll be honest. But he should take at least a good 80, 90 at minimum. 196. Oh, my bad. I forgot who you were. I forgot what spell that was. <laughs> Only take all of his life. I'm pretty sure that Velanus can kill him. I think we can get within six, which should be our range. Oh, no, we actually can't. Unfortunate. And six is the range, correct? Mm, yep, so if we move right next to... Well, that kind of sucks. Is that where I have to be, or what? Because I would rather not be right next to her like that. It's my only spot to chocolate from, after all. I guess I could just move her after the fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, this is a perfectly valid tile, so let's move right here shoot on this guy oh no god damn well this could trigger him to run maybe potentially we also could have got a proc we didn't but that would have been just as well uh the spirit surge probably goes through who is who i think this goes through wouldn't make a huge difference anyways since i can just be out of his way basically so I'll move right there yeah that's gonna go through this guy should actually run like I say 
At the very least, he's not going to come charging at me until he's out of critical, but by then it's going to be way too late. Bellanus can just drop him. Actually, how much you want to bet Mastadio kills him right now? I'd bet anything, really. Take that level up. Now I can move here, and this should be a job level for dude, which we want. She has to be like level 4 monk, I think. Something like that. Something like that. By the way, she doesn't make as good as a monk because it does depend on your physical strength, and she has less strength than butts. Like, all women just have less strength than their male counterparts. Even, like, special units like Agrias, they have less uh, strength than a male version of that same class would. I mean, it works for gameplay balancing, I suppose. But it is a little bit frustrating trying to unlock Dancer because of it, because you do have to go through, like, 90% physical classes, if not all physical classes, with uh, female units. And again, they're just not, they're not as good as it, honestly. Much better at using magic, though. Oh yeah, one other thing about this map is that since it's raining, you get a little bit of a boost to your lightning magic here. Uh, I, I think I mentioned that before, but this does technically qualify as heavy rain. There's two types of rain, right? So there's light rain, which does nothing, and then heavy rain, which boosts your lightning magic, and I think maybe even your water magic. I think it, I think it actually does, because Leviathan did a hell of a lot to those Mulbros, despite the fact that most of them had really bad faith. Uh, if I'm wrong about that, it can be on screen, I guess, but just keep that in mind. If the map is raining, lightning magic is definitely better. And I think that water magic is better, too. <laughs> Are you alright, Mustadio? Yeah, I'm okay. Did you see that? I actually killed stuff this time. Past the swamps, the ocean. We're almost to Goog. Not a very difficult map. Per se, and Mastadio can actually help on this map for once. Like I say, that Seal Evil, uh, sure that first skeleton he shot at wasn't the greatest of accuracy, but still a 50% chance to just instantly kill an enemy and bypass their revival mechanic is not too bad. Definitely not. By the way, Phoenix Down's no longer one shot undead. In the original game, if you used like a Light Spell or a Phoenix Down, it would just instantly take them out, but now it does 25% of their max HP, I do believe. Still can't miss or anything like that, so it can be useful, especially later in the game when they start to really crank up their HP numbers. Because at that point, you're dealing like 100 plus damage with a single move, but for the time being, uh, I definitely think that it's better to take them out by other means. The full life spell still one-shots them, though. So that is something to keep in mind. Oh, and re-raise also bypasses the undead thing, so even if you're undead, re-raise will still revive you. Uh, that said, let's be pretty careful here, because at this point, it's sort of a point of no return. A smaller one, but it is a point of no return regardless. I doubt we got short charge. No, we're so uh, Damn. That is gonna suck. That's really gonna suck. If we would've had short charge here, I should've made a better effort for that. Because on this next map, I know that there's gonna be some stupidly fast enemies. Some stupidly fast enemies, y'all. <laughs> so this could get pretty bad. No lie. And I don't... Like, like, they're gonna be so fast that I think that even after a haste, Muffin is still gonna be slower. That's how fast they will be. Alright, honestly, let's just move on. Yeah, I'm definitely not looking forward to this next fight. It is ultra nasty, guys. And like, a serious contender to give me another game over or two, for sure. Without any doubt. I don't see anyone from Bark Company. It doesn't even look like there was a fight. Something strange. I'll check it out. See you later. Where? The slums over there. They shouldn't attract attention. Alright, be careful. Right, leave it to me. Yeah, leave it to Mustadio. We've seen his plans in action before, and they are none too good. So at this point, we can go ahead and buy a gun if we want. I might want some guns or maybe like a crossbow. Hmm. It is fire elemental, but I don't think that I could boost fire yet, can I? There's an item called the red shoes, I do believe, that you get relatively soon. And those would boost fire damage, at which point the lava bolt would be kind of cool for Velanus, honestly. Okay, let's just see what happens, man. This one, <laughs> by the way, there's a fight here. I hope you didn't think you were getting out of here for free. Oh, no. Oh no, the second you try to do anything at all, bam, it's a fight. Now, I don't think it actually matters what we do with my G, because I'm pretty sure he's just gonna start where he starts no matter what. Let's do the right-hand side. Let's do the right-hand side, basically. I think that would be better, because 
as I recall. Oh, it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to remember honestly what the formations actually mean most of the time, but I think that we should be on my G's side. If we line ourselves up like this, anyways. Because he's going to need some backup without a doubt. If not, he's going to get rocked. He's late. Too late. And it's raining again, which is great for us. I think Bastadio was caught. Probably. He is a failure. You know what the kicker is? He's actually, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's related to, uh, Balthier from Final Fantasy XII. The awesome Sky Pirate dude who's practically the main character. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this weenie is his ancestor somehow. Are you his father? So yeah, just let that sink in. Who are you? All right, it's Rudvig. Bring him. I feel like he would have like, <laughs> I feel like he would sound like one of those guys, you know what I mean? So sorry, my G. Are you okay, Mustadio? Not for long. Well, that's far enough. Don't move any closer. So you're Rudvig. Let Mustadio go. Give me the holy stone. Then you can have a black. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. But I'm not sorry. Go on. Where's the hiding? Go on. Won't talk, huh? Maybe after seeing this. Father, are you okay? I'm alright. Don't give him the holy stone. Bersadio, though. He's way more awesome than Bersadio, despite the fact that, yeah, sure, you can say they're both captured right now, but still. Do you see that mustache? You see that facial hair? Now that's a man's man. Put him back in there. <laughs> I think already smacks him, too. I'm ready to confess now. Inside the chimney, at my G's feet. Well then, you pick it up, if you want to save his life. I don't know if I do. <laughs> I mean, we just met. Couldn't I just turn around and leave, man? Seems like that'd be a lot easier than this fight. This. So you can already see it's kind of bad, but it's going to get worse. There's two summoners over there and two thieves. Let them go. Let's give me a stone. Let them go first. Throw the stone, then we'll let them go. No you, no you. <laughs> All right, so now we can just leave, right? Oh yeah, so finally we've got it. The Cardinal will be very pleased. God damn it. Good job, I'm done now. You can take care of the rest. Get rid of them. Okay, if you say so. Okay, good, we do. No, we appear on the left, which in the formations menu was the right. I hate this game sometimes. <laughs> Dracula was in on a two. Yeah, but we can worry about that later. Right now, I'm going to worry about those two ninjas that just showed up. <laughs> this is not a good look. Uh, this is kind of what I wanted, though, because I would like to start them at the hell away from those summoners. It's probably going to be the ones that I take on last. Now, the good thing about ninjas is that they do not have a great deal of HP. The bad thing about ninjas is this. Oh, no way. He can't kill Mustadi. Oh, ho. nice. Nice. So, I didn't unequip Mustadio. He just has... Uh, he just has no gear because, well, he was in captivity, right? So obviously they stripped him of all of his stuff. How stupid would you have to be to not disarm a prisoner? But, oh god, that hurts. Okay, at least he didn't have two swords. But yeah, Mastadio has none of his items even if you left them on him. Like, I, I actually did come to think of it, but he didn't have anything good, so it's not really a big deal. And he comes with battle skill, I guess. I... He's, he's not really doing too much here. That's not the point of this map, really. Now, we have a few choices. Honestly, if I'm keeping a bunk with you guys, I'm thinking about second Volantis here to get these guys way closer to me. This other ninja scares the shit out of me. They're really nasty. This guy, he just has blind knives, thankfully. So that's not too bad, but that does give him a ton of speed. You can see he actually has nine, which is as much as Muffin would have, even if I hasted her. This guy's just generally pretty strong. His defense up, so that's kind of annoying. I can't really do too good against him, even if I shoot him, which is unfortunate because I think we actually have good on him. Yeah, Taurus the Burger, it should actually be good on that dude. Aquarius, Vincent, what, what are you looking like? Oh, this guy actually kind of sucks. What happened here? What happened with that? Yeah, this is a little bit more like it. 
That's a little bit more like it. Uh, actually, I don't think he would kill Volanis, though. And I really don't want to get popped by <laughs> those summoners. So I'm going to move him out, and then I'm going to back away with everybody else, I think. Now, what was your faith like, bud? You've got only 47, so I will shoot on this guy. I will shoot on that guy so that hopefully Leviathan can take him out. Nice trick shot there as well. You can see that defense up coming in, even though we do have good with that guy. We're still doing almost no kind of damage. And this is actually what I wanted to see, believe it or not. He can't kill me without a crit. Which he doesn't get. Cool. Nice counter throw. Seven damage. That's going to make all the difference. Just you watch. Now, honestly, I think if... I think if Muffin is going to do anything, I have to haste her because... These guys are just way too fast. They're just way too fast if I don't. Uh, I could punch this guy, maybe. My only fear with that would be that I'm giving them a really, really good spot to murder me from with, like, a, a summon of some kind. These two chicks. Now, how far can they move? Probably pretty far. Because, God forbid, they don't have, like, move plus three. Or they actually only have move plus one. But the, uh, the rods in this game, they actually give a point of movement now. So she can go all the way over here. Okay, so my G is actually out of range. However... However, Butts is not. Do you have anything, really? No, she just has the rod. Oh, she has battle boots. So they, can move, they can both move five, basically. But if I go the hell away from them, I think that we should be good. It's almost worth my while to punch this guy. I don't think he had anything besides the... Oh, no, he has a mantle, so that kind of sucks. So if I attack him from the side, he's still going to have 30 of aid. I think, I think that's how that works. But I might need to, and I think that... I don't know, man. Volantis is going to die no matter what I do, I believe, so it should be worth my while to do this. Nice. 50 damage isn't too bad. It's really not. But I, I really want to do that to ensure that he dies. I'm pretty confident that he would have anyways, but we're talking the difference here between killing and not killing, and that's just... It's just too important here. Now, these chicks both had short charge, didn't they? No, magic attack up on you, so if I charge a spell now, I'll get it first. Oh, man, she should have been where Butts is. Or she should have been where, uh... She should have been where... Dude is. Because then I could move closer. I didn't change talk skill either. Oh, I'm trash. But I can at least chakra my G. I'm gonna say that this is my move. I don't think that those thieves can still get me. I can kill one thief, one, uh... One ninja, basically. And honestly, having counter throw there kind of screwed me a little bit because if I uh, if I didn't knock that ninja back, I might have been able to kill him as well. So I guess if I fail, I can take that off, which would help a lot, honestly. Because this girl can move all the way in. She's actually gonna go for a haste on the dead guy. <laughs> I mean, I might miss the thief because of caution, so in that sense, maybe attacking him was the wrong move. Because... Uh, because I could have killed him anyways. I, I wasn't really accounting for that, but I should have been. Now, they should just kill Volanis as they are going to, it would seem. I think that I just want to heal my G, honestly. He's looking a little low. If we can keep him out of one-shot range... Well, not one-shot range, but you know what I mean. If we can keep him from being dropped, basically, that's going to help me out a lot. A ton. So this... Oh, is that going to let the ninja move first? It might. It might not, though. <laughs> we take those. So here comes Aramu. This will kill Volanis, without a doubt. And it should also do a lot to butts because... Uh, it's raining. Only 37. Never mind. All right, butts has terrible faith. I forgot about that. But it was intentional because it's nice to have at least one unit who's not going to get rocked by every single magic attack in the game. <laughs> so this is a good start, but for the first time in a long time, we're actually trading with these guys. We're actually trading with them, which is pretty nasty. They've taken two, we've taken two. And those summoners are still much, much, much faster than me. Because again, they had that short charge. I wasn't able to pick it up before this map. I really wanted to because... Uh, in this case, I don't need that much damage, but the ability to actually cast these spells would help so much. 
the ability to actually get these off would be just so nice. I can't even move in, really, because the ninja will just destroy me. <laughs> no, I'm not enraged. He could throw on me, but that's fine. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'll just do this. And this actually... Keeps them from moving in as well. At least too much. They can't move in too much, because if they do, they'll be in range of Leviathan. So they have to go to the right. Or can they kill her first? Maybe? Oh, god damn it. They totally can, can't they? I, sh I don't think I could have ran, honestly. They have their movement is so high. Their movement is so, so high. Nice. 100% crit, at least. At least he didn't get any bonus damage. Uh, hmm. But, dude. Odin! Good, so it's harmless. Oh, wait, no. Different Odin. Shit. Oh, here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Here's how we do this. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we kill that girl now. There's, I can't let her get that Odin. There's no way. There's no way. Odin does have a good shot to miss, but because she has that short charge, that'll severely ruin my day. We can't let that happen. But a spirit surge along with a punch to the face should probably just kill her. Can't see why it wouldn't. And dude still gets a move, so she can be the one to bring back. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so phew. <laughs> we saved it. I think. Spirit Surge should do enough. Yeah, look at that. And if Butts just punches her in the face, then Spirit Surge goes off. My G can't even die at that point because uh, she will die, so she can't get the counter flood. So there we go. That's a lot of damage in itself, honestly. And we don't have to go anywhere. Just do one of these moves. Yeah, she's not quite as good, but that is all it takes in this case. Uh, next time, though, it's going to have to be Butts because he's the only one that can get her back above the magic number 40. Nice Odin, Chief. Ha <laughs> ha. So we saved it. We saved it. And we were also able to keep that ninja out of uh, Muffin's face, basically, because if he had been there, the Leviathan would have murdered him right now. Now, assuming we actually hit the thief, which we did, that should be another kill. Yep. Okay. Now, it's one ninja, one summoner. That's still more than enough to end me, though. I, I assure you, she has short charge. And none of my characters are particularly bulky. What is that now? A fairy? Oh, oh my god. He, she can get a three-piece, can't she? That is awful. That's so bad. Please miss. Please miss at least some of them. Some of them had pretty bad faith now. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, no. They're going to undo me right here. I just know it. One, two, three. My turn? My turn, at least. Uh, so, how dead are we? Oh, we're pretty dead. We're definitely pretty dead. Um, I'm so screwed. <laughs> no. No, no, no. This is bad. This couldn't actually be worse, could it? Because <laughs> here's the thing. I can't even, like, Leviathan and then run because I, I still need to be in range for a heal. My, my only move is to wait and hope. And hope for something. I don't, I don't even know what would save me. I really don't. <laughs> well, the fact that they have to use two actions for this is good. The ninja will be able to kill me, though, so that's really bad. <laughs> Uh-oh, yep, that's... <laughs> GG! Hmm, so, where did we go wrong, I guess, would be the first question. Oh, but I can't hit him with, uh... I can't hit him. He's not in a good spot for that. Can't forget about Bolanis. Ugh! Yeah, I gotta do this. I have to. And then I have to wait in place. We can still kill these guys. It's just, are we going to kill them fast enough? And I think the answer is a resounding no. Uh, over two attacks, she can drop you. I do need to re-revive Bolanis. Uh, that's what's gonna screw me, I think. Now, fortunately, these guys can't do too, too much. But... Mm, I don't know. I really don't know. If he re-raises himself, that's even worse. Good game. Yeah, that's a good game for sure. Without a doubt. Unless... 
unless dude picks up Alanis in such a way that lets him get his turn right away, basically. He might. I didn't move. No, oh, we just missed it. And I have to get him now. I have to or he will die. But that in itself is not good because that's going to cause them to just drop him again. So this is what a revival loop looks like, by the way. <laughs> In case anybody was curious why this is bad, we're about to find out. Because I'm not really getting anything from this move. I'm just keeping him from turning into a crystal, basically. Which is not the same thing. Although, if they just go for this instead... Well, it's a 92%. Okay, now we're just really dead. <laughs> Sleeper, at least? Oh, my God. It would have been better if she had gotten slept. Because now she can be the one to kill... Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> dodge. I can't. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> We're your allies. Now, if I had, like, counter or something... Oh, no, no, I am done now. <laughs> there goes half my health. Oh, sure, just turn me to stone while you had it. Why not? Why not? Good game! <laughs> so, yeah, this game is hard as hell. <laughs> I hope you guys didn't think any differently. No, no, no. This game is brutal. <laughs> it's absolutely brutal. I'm biting the bullet and I'm giving Muffin the green beret and not the... Not the dang triangle hat because I really don't think that the one point of magic is going to make any meaningful difference here at all. So instead, I would rather just have the point of speed so that I can actually get the damn Leviathan off in the first place. Uh, also... I changed Dude back into a wizard and she uh, has the Thunder Rod and I bought Chain Lightning. Because that would have bailed me out. Chain landing definitely would have bailed me out there. Because I could have re-dropped two of them, Butts could have dropped the third, and then I would have been totally fine. The summoner would have been spent, and then we could have just won from there. So let's try this again. And we're also getting the Thunder Boost because this is again a raining map, so maybe if I am lucky I can just drop the summoners with a chain landing outright. It's a possibility. They're going to have good faith because they are summoners. And it would not make a lot of sense if they had bad faith. Otherwise, they would do no damage. So, you know. I really, really wish that this game would have had a skip cutscene feature, man. Anyways, let's try this again. Hopefully, Mustadio can take two again, but I'm not really counting on it. It's very unlikely. Unless they're automatically set to have bad compatibility with him, perhaps. No, no, no. <laughs> that is a thing that can happen sometimes. Some of the, uh, some of the fights have AI. Or rather, they have enemy units that sort of oh god really do I still have enough for haste probably not oh I mean probably yeah because he's gonna miss of course but yeah some of the AI can have not necessarily fixed compatibility but they will they will roll a certain way depending on the fight for example I don't think that these guys can have best with Mistadio or maybe not this fight but it would be that sort of situation right the enemy can't be so powerful that they can just instantly drop you without being able to do anything in certain cases i can kill her i'm pretty confident that i can just kill her like outright with the chain lightning so that might be what happens i, I certainly could have if i move velanas into a better spot what was that me and since we know that guy will die it's actually in my best interest to just not do anything i think because in the chance that he survives this round, I can actually get some stuff accomplished with him. Oh, there goes my G this time, though. Because they have two swords, always. Hmm. I am going to move him, but again, not move. I mean, not attack. Not attack, because I can just... I can just do this, and I can stay so far away from the summoners that there's absolutely no way that they could ever interrupt me. They can't. It's impossible. So to the corner with you, and uh, now we're going to wait for the summoners to move in. Hopefully I can drop one of them with chain lightning. I don't want to use explosion here because it is raining and that does cut in half. Is it in half? I'm not sure if it's in half, but it does cut my fire damage. So explosion is basically no good here. If I recall. <laughs> I'm not thinking of Pokemon, am I? <laughs> I'll look it up. I'll look it up. But I'm pretty sure that my fire damage is in fact weakened. So that's why we don't want to do anything with Explosion, really. Now, she might, like, charge a fairy right now, honestly. Wouldn't surprise me. Innocence? What? This guy lives, then. That was a cool move. I liked that. However... However, I might be able to kill her. So there's a nice Bahamut. 
I guess the bigger question is, do I do 108 in a single move? Probably not. It's gonna be really close. Ah, not quite, but I can just punch her. I can just punch her. The thief will live, unfortunately. But I can either punch her or just do this again. Either or would work. That was a clever move, though, because that thief will now survive. I wonder if Muhammad just nukes Volanis. It honestly might. It honestly might. Let's see it. I think, though, that this is a much better start. Assuming that no thieves get, like, a lucky 15%er dodge. Which they could. No, it doesn't look like it. The ninja, though. Oh, no. Damn it. That's so bad. That's super bad. Butts will not die. This is what Bahamut looks like, by the way. I'm never going to buy it because... Why would I? <laughs> but... It's still very strong. It's probably going to kill the lot Probably. Although I can't help but wonder if that is the summoner spent right there. Because if so, yeah, that's what I thought. If she's done, though, then I don't have to worry about her. Uh, I forget how much fairy costs, man. I really do. Did they just res loop? Is that a chain right there? I hope not. I hope the other ninja move first. Actually, he did not, did he? Damn. I hate these guys. Miss. There we go. <laughs> I've had enough of this charm bullshit. Uh, if I attack him from the side, I can't miss. Yep. So we redrop him. Now, unfortunately, I'm kind of wishing that I had, like, something better to do than haste myself here, but I really just don't. No way I get on this, right? No, no, no. We haste dude, though. Because she has the better range here. Oh, my God. Please hit. <laughs> if it hits, I can actually just chain landing right now, which would be better. Yeah, so we can drop the summoner right now. We'll move first now. Yep. So we do one of these. She dies. And we can either move out of way or we can just save our CT. I think we move out of way, though, because... I think she still has enough for Ramu, which would probably kill me. Oh, I just moved right into range? No, I didn't. Good, good, good. What is bad, 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 though? Is this revival chain? Ha, ha, ha. Yep, they are still in range, but... Nope, no but. Thankfully, it's a Shiva and not a Ramu, because this might not kill me. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Please? Good. Sweet. Of course, one of the thieves can just do it, but... He can't kill both of them. How smart is the AI? Not smart enough, it would seem, because she was basically done for this fight. <laughs> he didn't even kill. He didn't even kill. This guy should actually run. He's going to re-raise himself. Man, this is the luckiest thief I've ever seen. I would never, ever, ever hit that many re-raises. I assure you of that. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Ah. No, this is still a better move. This is a better move. We hit him. We hit him right here. He's going to go into Sunken State. does not matter all that much. And I, I'm really banking on the fact here that Butts is going to get a go before my G. Because if not, it's a game over right now. <laughs> he should. He definitely should. Am I actually going to get a game over by Crystal? Oh, if I'm slept, then that's game over. Oh, my God. Game over via Crystal. Can you even believe it? God damn, this map is annoying. <laughs> Why is it so hard, man? GG! There is just no way I'm losing again. No, 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 no. This time I think we've got it. We've learned all we need to learn here. Did our little scouting session. That's what I'm gonna call it, by the way. It wasn't me getting bodied. I was just gathering information. So now, <laughs> we should be able to win. Oh nice, he rolled bad on Mustadio again. Yeah, I actually think this might be one of those maps where they're programmed to not roll best with him, even though they could. But I could be dead wrong. Who knows? But that helps us out a little bit. Now, I probably showed what I was using, but my G is set up as a squire again so that he can at least survive this first turn no matter what, which is pretty important here. Man, these, these guys just have nasty abilities all around. Of course, Berserk wouldn't be actually all that bad. I got to check these ladies out again, though. Which is bad, unfortunately. Oh, no, I'm full of crap. These guys actually have good on the stadio, don't they? Yeah, I'm gonna shoot her. 
I should be able to from right here. And by doing this, I can kill her instantly with Chain Lightning, which is a big thing that we learned. That's a huge thing that we learned, because if she... Uh, if she runs forward and I can take her out, that's just great. And assuming I can get a move in between the time she casts a spell versus how long it actually takes her to get the spell off, if that makes sense, uh, assuming I can get a spell through, then we'd be looking very, very good. Right here is the spot for a good haste. We still need to get those out there after all, getting any kind of speed advantage on these guys. Not even an advantage in this case, just, <laughs> just uh, tying them is what we need to do. So I'll move here, and then we can get a three-piece. Right? Let's actually make sure I can get to this spot. Oh, I can't. Damn. Yeah, I actually took the battle boots off for the evasion, didn't I? Oh, I can't. Oh, shit, man. I didn't realize that was how that worked. Oh, well. Oh, well. We still want haste on her, so I had to move regardless. It's fine. Getting haste here is going to let us potentially salvage this a little bit better. I really can't see myself losing this time, though. I think this is the setup. My G also has an Arbalest on him, so I can actually shoot at these summoners from a distance if they want to run in. Uh, maybe it was actually a misplay to outspeed them, though, because if I had been slower, if I had been slower than these guys, right, and they ran in like this, I could maybe hit them while they were charging, which would be a lot better. Because it would instantly kill them, essentially. But this girl is going to screw up and get close enough to me, I do believe. Yep, she's in chain lightning range. She's gonna try that same innocent crap, but this time we can actually kill her. Haha. -ha. Yeah, this time since we can kill her, we can potentially get three kills. Like so. Yep, there it is. And there it is. I'm not entirely sure what she was charging on Volanis, though. I should probably check that out after this Leviathan goes through. Or maybe it's it'll probably go off next. That's one thief, two thieves I saw. And the ninja, so that's three right there. Now, interestingly enough, that other ninja didn't move in. I wonder why. Very strange. So there's a triple. Now, oh, he Titan. Hello. That might kill me. It might not. It's not that strong. Volana says 130 something HP. But if not this chick, then the ninja certainly can. I don't know. Let's see. Ooh, close one. Close one. Now, the trick here, I guess, if anything, would be... No, he actually doesn't have anything that can kill me. So I, I, I want crystals this time. Doubly so, because we missed out on all opportunity on the last map. And honestly, we can just haste right there. And now, this chick will counter flood me. But on the other hand... That'll put her low enough for Chain Lightning, I'm pretty sure. Oh, now it definitely will. Yeah, now we can for sure kill her. So I'm going to die there, but the ninja was going to kill him anyways if I left him in range. And we have enough time. We have more than enough time, in fact. And because the ninja doesn't have any kind of revival or healing or anything, really, uh, we should be pretty much good. Finally. <laughs> I think I can even go for a wish if I need to. Maybe I can't, I don't know, but I'm about to catch this ace, so what difference does it really make? I can get up to Volanis and pick him back up without any kind of issue, I guarantee. I guarantee. And we also have another Leviathan at this point, so yes, finally on the, th on the third go here. We've made a little bit of progress. Yeah, let's just, let's just get over here. I'm gonna move to pick him up. And keep these guys the hell away from my crystals, basically. Not gonna pick up Mistadio for that exact reason, though, honestly. Because you just know he's going to ruin me. You just know he will. Now, can I still catch her? I think I can. You sure can. So that's going to be game. God, this map is so hard. <laughs> you can see, though, it's not necessarily a war of attrition or anything like that. The enemy has a ton of glass cannons here. Just six glass cannons. That's the whole map. So it definitely helps to have glasses that are a little bit more defensively capable here. And I think that that was really the key in turning that around. I really do. Because there's no way that one ninja could possibly hope to threaten me at this point. It, he just can't. We have too much healing, too much revival, and we're all hasted practically. Oh, well, I say that. <laughs> Ouch. I feel like... I feel like dude gets body bag more than anybody. Am I right or am I right? Oh, yeah, by the way, I, I don't think I actually mentioned this, but I did see one comment that did bring this up explicitly. 
But I guess it's worth mentioning in a video. So my G's Squire class actually changes twice throughout the game. The one he can use in the beginning of the game is basically just a standard Squire, except I think he's actually even a little bit worse because he can't use crossbows, although his growths are still technically better. In the second act, he can use both heavy armor, light armor, as well as crossbows. And in the third act, he also picks, not the third act, excuse me, in the final act, he picks up knight swords as well. So his class does change despite the fact that it technically still is called Squire. Something kind of neat, and it was also like that in the original game as well, I believe. It got better and better as you went on. Now, since we actually have Bolanus here, these Steve Crystals could be super nice too. And honestly, I just want to throw out haste so that I can probably get short charged so the next time this map comes around, or next time a map like this comes around, I don't get screwed. Because <laughs> if I had short charge, I could have easily outpaced the enemy. Easily done so. But alas. Oh no! That's a kill, yep. <laughs> Damn it, I was really hoping for a crystal on that guy. He had attack up. He had attack up. Another treasure. There we go, there we go. Bolanus can get this guy. Please have some good steals. They tried to steal my crap last time, so hopefully. Oh my, what is that? What is that? Now you owe me a summoner crystal. You have to now. And I think my G. Probably my G. Yeah, you don't have it, but my G does have summoner unlock. So either you or Muffin needs to make your way over there. Okay, cool. Come on. God damn it. God damn it, Eileen. <laughs> you couldn't become a crystal. You really couldn't. Come on now. Maybe the other one. <sighs> I really needed some more summoner skills, though, and they're really expensive. I don't want to buy them. <laughs> I just want the game to give them for free. Headgear, not really that great. Come on now. There we go, Mandy. Okay, so here's the choice, though. <laughs> do we give it to my G in hopes to have another really kick-ass summoner, or do we give it to Muffin to increase her utility? Oh, yeah, by the way, there's a hidden summon. We can't get that for a long time. I mean, truthfully, Muffin is always using Leviathan, right? Like, no matter what, because she's my DPS. So I'm going to say my G. Okay, please. Please be good. Ooh. Ooh, not bad, not bad. Not the best summons, but still some really good ones. Chain landing slow, which is great because we've been uh, using we've been using time mage pretty liberally here. Oh, lich, lich is okay, I think. I can't remember. I want to say lich is on the same tier as like. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually not 100. percent But that is gonna let him use summon magic, which is good because that's like AOE revives, huge AOE heals, you name it. It's in the skill set, I promise. But I guess we can do that through propositions, right? So let's just, let's just end this. I'm so done with it. Oh, okay, I guess I'm not. <laughs> there we go, maybe, maybe. I don't know, I thought we had it last time too, but I guess not. There we go, finally. Yeah, this map is so hard. <laughs> not necessarily the longest ordeal in the world, as you can see, but still, will my father be all right? Definitely a step up in difficulty. The rest of this act is really, really rough. <laughs> So if you thought the game was easy so far, oh no, 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 that was just the training portion of this game. The training rules were still on. Now it's getting real. Oh, we got a samurai sword. I don't have any samurai though. Yeah, I have no samurai. <laughs> Are you all right, father? Don't worry about me. They got the stone. Ludwig will try to revive the machines beneath Goog with its power. He may even try to use the divine power in the stones. Besides, the Cardinal is working with Bart Company. Not much we can do now. Well, good for them. What do you mean? I made a fake one in case something like this happened. Okay, how? <laughs> but you know what? That's fine. That's right, Miss Tade. You finally got one over on the game. About time, too. You mean they got a fake? That's right. They must be going crazy right now. <laughs> not bad, not bad, kid. Princess Ovalia and Agrias are in danger. What do you mean? The Cardinal joined Bart Company to get the stone. He may take the princess hostage. Ridiculous. Making an enemy of the royal family? Why do you think the Cardinal wanted the stone? People are sick of long wars and political infighting. Dracula wants us to use... Dracula wants to use the Zodiac Brave story. Creating Zodiac Braves by collecting the Holy Stones. He can control the world. 
He's right. We can't give the stone to the Cardinal. Who I sound suspiciously like for some reason. <laughs> Let's save the Princess and Agrias. Let's not. I don't like defense missions. <laughs> right, but the way to Lionel is probably sealed. We'll use a ship to sneak in the back of the castle. I like the way you think, my man. So finally, Mastadio can stop sucking because he's recruitable. And we will, of course, grab him because he is good. He is good. It's just that his AI is terrible. <laughs> Fortunately, I think he still comes with all the stuff that he learned, maybe? Or does he does he start over? I honestly can't remember. And yeah, you can't go back the way that you came. You have to go through Wargelis or whatever it's called. The next city, at any rate. Like so. And we gotta make our way back to Lionel. But that is gonna happen next time, for sure. Let me just take Mistadio, though. Nope, he actually somehow forgot how to use his move. Thank you, Mistadio. Thank you. Screw me till the very end, why don't you? Anyways. That's gonna do it for me, so thank you for watching. I hope that you all enjoy it. <laughs> it's only gonna get harder from here, folks. So if that's your thing, look forward to that, and I will catch you next time. See you then. Peace.